Ahmadi Khalifat movement, 1919-1924, was a pan-Islamic, political protest campaign launched by Muslims in British India to influence the MF British government and to protect the Ottoman Empire during the aftermath of World War I. It won the support of Mahatma Gandhi and the predominantly Hindu Congress movement because of its anti-British overtones. In India, although mainly a Muslim religious movement, the movement became a part of the wider Indian independence movement. The movement was a topic in Conference of London, February 1920, however, Arabs saw it as threat of continuation of Turkish dominance of Arab lands. The position of Caliph after the armistice of Mudros of October 1918 with the military occupation of Istanbul and Treaty of Versailles, 1919, fell into a disambiguation along with the Ottoman Empire's existence. The movement gained force after the Treaty of Sevres, August 1920 which imposed the partitioning of the Ottoman Empire and gave Greece a powerful position in Anatolia, to the distress of the Turks. They called for help and the movement was the result. The movement collapsed by late 1922 when Turkey gained a more favorable diplomatic position and the move towards secularism. By 1924 Turkey simply abolished the roles of Sultan and Caliph. The Caliphate is an Islamic system of governance in which the state rules under Islamic law. Ottoman Emperor Abdul Hamid II (1876–1909) launched his pan-Islamic program in a bid to protect the Ottoman Empire from Western attack and dismemberment, and to crush the westernizing democratic opposition at home. He sent an emissary, Jamaluddin Afghani to India in the late 19th century. The cause of the Ottoman monarch evoked religious passion and sympathy amongst Indian Muslims. Being a caliph, the Ottoman emperor was nominally the supreme religious and political leader of all Muslims across the world. However, this authority was never actually used. A large number of Muslim religious leaders began working to spread awareness and develop Muslim participation on behalf of the Caliphate. Muslim religious leader Maulana Mehmud Hassan attempted to organize a national war of independence against the British with support from the Ottoman Empire. Abdul Hamid II was forced to restore the constitutional monarchy marking the start of the second constitutional era by the Young Turk Revolution. He was succeeded by his brother Memdvi, 1844-1918, but following the revolution, the real power in the Ottoman Empire lay with the nationalists. The Ottoman Empire, having sided with the Central Powers during World War I, suffered a major military defeat. The Treaty of Versailles, 1919, reduced its territorial extent and diminished its political influence but the victorious European powers promised to protect the Ottoman Emperor's status as the Caliph. However, under the Treaty of Sevres, 1920, territories such as Palestine, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, Egypt severed from the Empire. Within Turkey, a pro-Western, secular nationalist movement arose, Turkish National Movement. During the Turkish War of Independence, 1919 to 1924, led by one of the Turkish revolutionaries, Mustafa Kemal Atatürk, abolished the Treaty of Sevres with the Treaty of Lausanne, 1923. Pursuant to Atatürk's reforms, the Republic of Turkey abolished the position of Caliphate in 1924 and transferred its powers within Turkey to the Grand National Assembly of Turkey. Caliphate in South Asia Although political activities and popular outcry on behalf of the Caliphate emerged across the Muslim world, the most prominent activities took place in India. A prominent Oxford-educated Muslim journalist Maulana Muhammad Ali Juha had spent four years in prison for advocating resistance to the British and support for the Caliphate. At the onset of the Turkish War of Independence, Muslim religious leaders feared for the Caliphate, which the European powers were reluctant to protect. To the Muslims of India, the prospect of being conscripted by the British to fight against fellow Muslims in Turkey was anathema to its founders and followers. The Caliphate was not a religious movement but rather a show of solidarity with their fellow Muslims in Turkey. Muhammad Ali and his brother Maulana Shawkat Ali joined with other Muslim leaders such as Sheikh Shawkat Ali Siddiqui, Dr. Mukhtar Ahmad Ansari, Raiz al Muhajirin Barrister Jan Mohammed Juno, Hazrat Moani, Sadat Allah Shah Bukhari, 
Maulana Abul Kalam Azad and Dr. Hakim Majmal Khan to form the All India Caliphate Committee. The organization was based in Lucknow, India at Hath Shawkat Ali, the compound of landlord Shawkat Ali Siddiqui. They aimed to build political unity amongst Muslims and use their influence to protect the Caliphate. In 1920, they published the Caliphate Manifesto which called upon the British to protect the Caliphate and for Indian Muslims to unite and hold the British accountable for this purpose. In 1920 an alliance was made between Caliphate leaders and the Indian National Congress, the largest political party in India and of the nationalist movement. Congress leader Mohandas Gandhi and the Caliphate leaders promised to work and fight together for the causes of Caliphate and Swaraj, seeking to increase pressure on the British. The Caliphatists became a major part of the non-cooperation movement, a nationwide campaign of mass, peaceful civil disobedience. The support of the Caliphatists helped Gandhi and the Congress ensure Hindu-Muslim unity during the struggle. Gandhi described his feelings towards Muhammad Ali as love at first sight to underscore his feelings of solidarity. Caliphate leaders such as Dr. Ansari, Maulana Azad and Hakim Ajmal Khan also grew personally close to Gandhi. These leaders founded the Jamia Millia Islamia in 1920 to promote independent education and social rejuvenation for Muslims. The non-cooperation campaign was at first successful. Massive protests, strikes and acts of civil disobedience spread across India. Hindus and Muslims collectively offered resistance, which was largely peaceful. Gandhi the Ali brothers and others were imprisoned by the British. Under the flag of Tehraki Caliphate, a Punjab Caliphate deputation comprising Mulani Mansur Ahmed and Mulana Lutfla Khan Dankori R.A. took a leading role throughout India, with a particular concentration in the Punjab, Sursa, Lahore, Haryana etc. However, the Congress Caliphate alliance began withering soon. The Caliphate campaign had been opposed by other political parties such as the Muslim League and the Hindu Mahusabha. Many Hindu religious and political leaders identified the Caliphate cause as Islamic fundamentalism based on a pan-Islamic agenda. And many Muslim leaders viewed the Indian National Congress as becoming increasingly dominated by Hindu fundamentalists. Caliphate Movement and Nehru Report Central Caliphate Committee participated in all parties conference, which formed a committee under the presidency of Moti Lal Nehru to draft a constitution, which came to be known as Nehru Report. 1928. Maulana M.D. Ali Johar was at that time in jail, so the Central Caliphate Committee was represented by Maulana Shawkat Ali, Begum Muhammad Ali and following other 30 members from Central Caliphate Committee, 1. Maulana M.D. Afrin, Bombay 2. Maulana Mohedin Ajmari, Bombay 3. Yasin Nori, Bharat Law, Ahmedabad 4. S.K. Nabibullah, Advocate, Bombay 5. Mulvi Gul Shakhan Akola Bera 6. Maulana M.D. Ibrahim, Muzaffar Baiha 7. Mulvi Manzar Alitb, Simla 8. Haji Musa Khan, Alaga 9. Maulana Azad Sabani, Garak Bur 10. Maulana M.D. Jeffrey, Editor Miladli 11. Said Lal Badshah, Peshawar 12. Maulana Abdul Majid Aryabadi 13. Said Rauf Pasham. Madras 14. Hafiz M.D. Usman, Alagur 15. Sheikh Abdul Majid, Karanchai 16. Dr. Magfor Ahmad Ajazi, Muzaffar, Baiha, 17. Seth Hashim Abdur Rahman, Calcutta 18. Kaur Agar Sudin, Calcutta 19. Sheikh Ilai Baksh, Sitamahi Baiha 20. Maulana Abdul Mohasan M.D. Sajjad, Fulwara Sharif. Patna by Har 21. Sada Sulaiman Kasim Mtha, Malabar Hill, Bombay 22. Haji Ali MD, Jalaluddin, Bombay 23. Maulana Abdul Rauf, Bombay 24. Mulvi Fate MD. Comma Editor in Saf, Comma Bombay 25. MD, Jan, Bombay 26. Seth Ahmad Bamrawala, Bombay 27. Khan Bahadur Abdul Ahad Khan, Bombay 28. Mulvi Himatullah, Bombay 29.md, Baksh Chamadar, Bombay 30, Zahid Ali, 
Bombay Caliphant Committee rejected Nehru report collapse. In wake of these disturbances, the Ali brothers began distancing themselves from Gandhi and the Congress. The Ali brothers criticized Gandhi's extreme commitment to non-violence and severed their ties with them after he suspended all non-cooperation movement after the killing of 23 policemen at Chorichora in 1922. Although holding talks with the British and continuing their activities, the Caliphate's struggle weakened as Muslims were divided between working for the Congress the Caliphate cause and the Muslim League. Another reason was that members of the movement were concerned with the fate of Khalifa than were the Western powers and the people of Turkey. The final blow came with the victory of Mustafa Kemal's forces, who overthrew the Ottoman rule to establish a pro-Western, secular republic in independent Turkey. He abolished the California role and sought no help from Indians. The Caliphate leadership fragmented on different political lines. Sadat Allah Shah Bukhari created majlis e islam with the support of Chaudhry Afzal Haq. Leaders such as Dr. Ansari, Maulana Azad and Hakim Ajmal Khan remained strong supporters of Gandhi and the Congress. The Ali brothers joined the Muslim League. They would play a major role in the growth of the League's popular appeal and the subsequent Pakistan movement. There was, however, a caliphate conference in Jerusalem in 1931 following Turkey's abolition of the caliphate, to determine what should be done about the caliphate. People from villages such as Zorjla Kurd were the main contributors to the cause. Legacy The caliphate struggle evokes controversy and strong opinions. By critics, it is regarded as a political agitation based on a pan-Islamic, fundamentalist platform and being largely indifferent to the cause of Indian independence. Critics of the Caliphate see its alliance with the Congress as a marriage of convenience. Proponents of the Caliphate see it as the spark that led to the non-cooperation movement in India and a major milestone in improving Hindu-Muslim relations, while advocates of Pakistan and Muslim separatism see it as